Uh, today I spoke about um, substituting metal. There are two ways of substituting metals. It's one is um, in mechanical properties and one is in electrical properties. For the mechanical properties, uh, uh, we um, s uh, presented a Shulamite 612GF65, which gets nearly the same properties as a lot of steel al uh, metal alloys. But if you take into account uh, the density, we are even exceeding uh, mechanical strengths of, of uh, metals, metal alloys. Okay, for the, this conference, I will speak about uh, new technology in the injection molding uh, well, uh, world. It is the projectile injection technology. Uh, that means a new technology to produce parts under the wood for the carts, uh, especially for expansion tank or for uh, hollow bulb seal. I found it an interesting conference because I, I'm in the industry. It's been quite fun chairing it and seeing, uh, seeing talks about things that I knew were going on, but I didn't necessarily know the detail. So I'm sure I've learned as much as any of the delegates have. This two days conference was very interesting. We have a very broad and wide range of applications we heard of. I was very interested in this mold temperature um, um, thematic, uh, uh, topic, where we were talking about um, inductive heating, steam heating, cooling technologies, like the, the last one was about um, how we can produce uh, tool elements, cores, uh, for example, with very um, in intelligent cooling systems integrated. So this is very interesting for us and helping us with our, techno uh, with our machines to have the right uh, technologies. Um, well, uh, I've heard um, a few good lectures. Um, I remember conformal cooling has been very interesting. Also, inductive heating by Matt Boulanger has been quite interesting. New technologies, uh, new ways of uh, increasing productivity. Very interesting. I would say the, uh, the biggest challenge is, is to, to get inside a lot of automotive and um, even uh, electrical applications where you can substitute these parts using this enormous uh, potential of taking up the the mechanical strengths, but also putting inside nice design parts, even electrical uh, uh, channels to, to, to run the power through. The, our big, biggest, biggest business challenges for us as an injection molding machine maker is to follow the market trends and to be, for example, be a leader of the market trends. So we have to be um, aware and know very well how the market will develop. And this is very important to, to visit conferences like this to have an idea what is going to be the next in the market and for us to be able to provide the solutions for the next requ requirements. DME is a major supplier of the tool making and injection molding industries um, and our biggest challenge is to come up with uh, new products, uh, new ideas and to uh, make the life of, uh, of these industries um, easier with providing standard products and standard solutions, avoiding uh, custom-made th things that are uh, always a difficult thing to manage um, cost-wise. It's difficult to predict what innovations are going to be. Um, I think there's a tendency now to get some of these new technologies and integrate them um, to try and produce particular um, examples. It was interesting um, to have one of the car manufacturers t talking about how they exploit the various technologies to see how the end user sees it rather than just the slightly ivory tower approach perhaps of some of the um, universities.